Hello, this is Professor Stephen Nesheba, and I'm here to take you on the next step of analysis, which is to get uh, differences in maps between, uh, say, the, the last five years of a run and the first five years. Uh, you probably, I'm hoping, already extracted those uh, if you followed the last video, in which case I'm uh, hoping that you're looking at uh, two NC files that are here in the upper right. Now, uh, if you double-click on those, that'll that'll launch Panoply, and, uh, and uh, you, you'll have to click on one and then double-click on the other, in which case uh, something like this file... Uh, should show up. So this is the sources uh, window for Panoply. You can always get to it here from the sources browser. And uh, um, these are the these are the maps that I extracted. And let me just look at uh, surface air temperature. So I'm going to go to that. Okay, so that's going to be one array. And um, let's see, this was the surface air temperature for 1958 to, to 1962. Uh, so that was the beginning of our period. I'm going to go back to the Sources browser, and I'm going to do the same thing here. Uh, so this is now at the end of our period, 2050 to 2046. Okay, and uh, you know you can do the same you know things that uh, you may be accustomed to do for scaling these arrays. But what we really want to talk about right now is the uh, the difference between these. So the way to do that is go back to the Sources browser. And uh, what we're going to do is say combine plot. While this is already highlighted down here, I'm going to combine the plot. And it says, well, which one do you uh, combine the variable in? And you can just take the default here. And uh, what hopefully will show up here is uh, array 1, which is the uh, 1958 to 1962, and array 2, uh, which is the, uh, the latter part of the period. We kind of want to look like look at the end of that period to the beginning of that period. So we really want to say array 2 minus array 1. And what else do we want? Um, if you look down here, I, I want to look at uh, uh, annual averages. So I'm going to do set that for both of, uh, both of those arrays, both, uh, time periods. And uh, I think that looks good. I'm going to go back to uh, plot here. Now, um, I'm going to try to sort of... Uh, scale this uh, so it's on a more reasonable scale here. So I'm going to say fit together to data and center on zero. So what that did was that uh, anything in the warm colors here means that the world is warmed and that, you know, by the year 2050 and, and so on. And uh, what you might want to do uh, in addition on this case is it defaulted to two and a half degrees, but I think I'm going to maybe spread that out to five just so that you can uh, see the dynamic range a little bit. And, uh, and so now you're in a position to, uh, to look at this. And, uh, um, and uh, if you want to do a screen capture, you, you, can, you can do that and, uh, and so on.